So today we are here for a vinyasa flow. This flow is going to be more on strength based but it will also soothen up your muscles. Now um, this is going to be a little slow. I might not speak a lot with all my energy but uh, <coughs> any of you Anywhere you get tired or you feel uh, you don't have that much time and you just want to stop in between, I request you not to stop here but go towards the last 5 to 7 minutes and then we end up with a special type of meditation which is uh, meant to relax all your nerves and your um, mind. So de-stressing or detoxifying of your mind is going to take place and we are going to relax each and every muscle of your body. So basically trying to take you through yoga nidra. If you have time to sleep, nothing like that. So <coughs> even if you have problem with sleeping or you know you, there are days when you are very very anxious, you can just play this video from the last part, feel a bit better and sleep off. So <coughs> Delhi taking you through the flow. <coughs> <coughs> Sit. Let's calm ourselves to get into a nice <coughs> yoga flow. I'm sorry for my throat. <coughs> Breathe. 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 Hands inside, outside, and as you go, take your hands outside, take your chest inside. Take your chest and relax. So, rounding up your back and shoulders. Okay. <coughs> Again. This last one more time, stretch it nice. Hollowing your chest in front. Okay. Hands at the back, interlaced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch it, stretch on sides nicely. <coughs> now, take your hands at the back as you do this shoulder back and chest now in front one more time from here bring your hands towards one side shoulder back elbow back and stretch on this side so when you do this Pull it on the side. <coughs> Again, release it at the back. Stretch, chest out, shoulders back. And from here, on one side, elbow back, shoulder back, and, and stretch on the sides. <coughs> Here. Shake your hands off. <coughs> you just go in mountain, walk, walk your knees, activate them. Come in a high plank, go back. High plank, swing. Front, back, front, back, <coughs> front, back. Go down, hold. Toes flat, up, thighs up. It is not Bhujangasana, it is um, up dog. So, go up. It's called Urdhava Mukha Savasana. So, bend yourself nicely from your lower back. Again, mountain pose. And then, Baby pose. And let's start with our flow <coughs> it. So you go up, hands 
swimming with the other leg. Mountain. Left leg up. Stretch up. Don't go side. Stretch up. Knee fold. Big circles. Two. Three. Four. And round your back. Knee to chest. Round your back. Mountain. Press your shoulder in between when you're in mountain. And baby. Child's pose. Or the baby pose. Second. On the left. Up. Straight, not on sides. Try to keep it straight up. Knee forward. One. Two. Three. Four. And knee to chest. Round your back. Round your back. Again. Baby pose. Changing your legs. 
tall and in front. Push your alignment. Look at yourself. Third way down. Both your hands front fold. Can you stretch yourself at the back? Last one. In front. <coughs> back. Reverse stretch. Make sure your legs are right there. You can change the alignment of the back foot. Last round. There. Can you stretch the back? Come up and in the back without changing your legs. Are oh, your legs shaking? Go back. High plank. Hold there. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Of the floor. <coughs> Mountain and walk. <coughs> Left leg in front. Warrior left. Left hand straight. Right leg facing out. Left leg facing in front. Push yourself, hands in alignment. Bring it down. Half fold. Shoulders in front of your knees. <clears throat> Can you bend at the back with shoulder in front of your knees? Up. Complete the first one. Try not to change your alignment. It's difficult for those who have a problem with the back. I understand. Second, smile. Go with the flow. Try to interlace if you can or just stay there. Front, 
put the legs together. <coughs> Half fold 90 degree. Shoulders back. Full fold. Squeeze in your abdomen. <coughs> Chest first. Stomach and head. Up. In a third asana. Again. Half fold. Shoulders back. Full fold. Squeeze in your abdomen. First. Chest. Abdomen. And head. Again. Your left leg goes back. Right leg is in front. High lunge. Hands in front. It's just 25 minutes. Hands up. Hands down. In front. On the floor. Come with your leg. Right and back, left and front, 
both the legs into a square, a big square out of your body. While you do this, it's all out. Shoulders out, pelvis out, legs out. From inside you should feel your hip bone is out. Stay there. If you've done this, come here. Again, feel your pelvis coming out. Push your knees with your hands. Push your knees apart with your hands. Sit. Ah, how does it feel? Ah, sit in Vajrasana. Breathe out. Do you see a change? When I started, I was coughing. I was blowing my nose. I had all that morning allergy symptoms. But look at me now. Only thing that's happening is my throat is dry. I might want to drink, sip some water, but I will not stop this flow here. We finish with our relaxation. I want all of you to lie down. Lie down and I want you to loosen up yourself, position yourself, loosen up your hips, thighs, keep seeing look when I leave my lower body, loose, this is how it goes. If it's tight, it will be like this. I want you to loosen it up and as you lie down, loosen up your hands, your shoulders, your whole body. Now, what I want to do is, all of you should close your eyes. Keep anything which is disturbing your mind away. Completely away. And breathe. Your focus should be on your nostrils. Only on your nostrils. Breathe. Try to inhale more. You might be panting. Breathe. Two. Three. Your concentration only on your nostrils. You are not thinking anything. Just see the air flowing in and coming out. Just focus on the air. The breath which you take and on your heartbeat. Is your heartbeat high? Are you breathing heavy? Try to relax it. Just concentrate on that heart and your nose. Don't think. No past, no future. Keep your fingers loose, toes loose, legs, knees, every single thing goes. Now we take all our attention to our toes. Right leg, toes. Move your toes a bit. Can you feel the blood going back to your legs? Visualize your heels. Visualize your right foot. Only focus on the right foot. Nothing else. You, you should be seeing your right foot while closing your eyes, visualizing it. Do you have heel pain? Does your toes hurt? Does the sole of your feet hurt? Can you imagine all that pain in a yellow light going away from your legs? It is just going out of your foot. Imagine that yellow pain going out of your feet. Now visualize a healing energy on your leg, the right leg. A nice orange light coming to your right leg. Can you visualize that leg, the area which is paining, the heel, the foot, the toe. A nice orange light is coming in your toes, healing you. If you like green, think of green. 
whatever color you like. Think of that coming inside your beads and toes. And the pain which is which is there, it is going, it is healing you. This light is healing you. Come on your ankle. Are you okay there? Are your joints strong? Look at your calves. See your legs. Till your knees. How much weight does your legs bear throughout the day? They carry you, they make you walk. They do so much good to us. Thank your leg. Say thanks to the legs that carries us, helps help us around with so many work. Feel good about your legs. Look at those knees. Are your knees weak? Do you feel it get dislocated? Look at the joint, the knee joint and all the muscles and ligaments around. Try to visualize it. Tell them, tighten up. You need to tighten. My knees are not supposed to stay loose. You're not supposed to dislocate, baby. Tighten yourself on your knees. Tell the ligaments and the muscles to become strong. All the pain vanishing from there. Feel it. Visualize it. Try to visualize it. No more pain on your legs. Keep your right leg so loose that you can just see the healing happening right on your knees. Come to your thighs. Tell all those adipose and extra fat tissues your job is done. I'm trying to move you. I'm thankful to you that you carried me to here. But whatever extra, please I don't need you there. Feel your right leg going very, very loose. You should not be able to move it now. It should go just relaxed it like it is sleeping. Look at your left foot, toes and heels. Try to move your left toes a bit. Yeah? Visualize the blood going in your left toes, the left leg. The left heel. Do you have pain there? The left heel. See that yellow pain going away from there. Sharp pain leaving your body. No more pain. We don't want you. We love you to your foot and heel and toes. You don't want pain there. Imagine the light coming in and healing it. Whatever color you like, orange, green, white, green. Feel it, heal your heels, your toes, your ankle. Is your ankle strong? Do you feel pain around your ankle? Try to soothe it up. Visualize your legs as your eyes are closed. The left leg till your knees, the calf, is it tight? It should fall loose now. The knees, does it dislocate? Is your knees loose? Do you feel pain there? Imagine all the ligaments and muscles around your knees. Imagine they're getting tightened. They're healing, the pain is going. Tell the muscles and ligaments there. You need to be strong. I have more life ahead. I need to walk without pain. You need to heal. I love you. I'm caring for you. All you need to do is heal, baby. Come on the left thighs. Is it loose now? Is it tight? Relaxed? Are you sore? Feel the blood going through your left thigh. Nice and smooth. Relaxing you out. Then all those extra adipose tissues. We don't need you there. We need strong muscles. The shaped muscles. Imagine your thighs beautiful. 
they make you feel good. They give a shape to our lower body. Talk to your pelvis. Visualize your reproductive organs from inside. So much hormones they play a role in our life daily. The pelvis or the, or the sacral chakra is responsible for so much of your mood swings. You're feeling good, you're feeling happy about yourself. Imagine the bones in your pelvis. Do you feel them relaxed? Your hormones have taken you through a lot in this life. We thank you for that, dear hormones. As I age, I want you to be alive. I want you to be functioning well and in sync with my body aging process. Come to your lower abdomen. Breathe. Normal breathing, there is no force in your breathing. All your abdomen. See the shape you always want to see. Turn the extra fat. Your job is done. You can leave my body. Thanks for protecting me, helping me out with whatever you do. Visualize the strong inside core muscles tightening up at your waist. Tell the muscles to tighten up beautifully. Come to your right hand. Your fingers don't move now. You don't feel like moving at all. See the blood flowing through your right hand from your shoulders to your fingers. Does your wrist pain? Does your elbow pain? Look at your shoulder pain. Imagine it all leaving from your body. The pain going away from your body. Wherever you feel the pain, you losing it of your pain. Feel the universe working on the pain. It will remove it. Following the subconscious mind which says there is no pain. It's all gone and healed. I'm working through it. I'm working towards it. My hands feel free. It feels so light. Enjoy the state and come to your left hands. Make it feel light and free from your shoulder to your fingers your wrist, your elbow, your shoulders, any pain out there, tell the air around to take that pain. Your body should be without pains and aches and should be strong. See the healing happening, the magic air, the universe healing yourself. Healing your hand and any pain there. Feel yourself very loose and relaxed. Focus on your heart and the lungs. They are easily breathing. There is no exertion. They are nice and relaxed. Inhaling and exhaling as you need. While you focus on your heart chakra, forgive those who have sinned against you. 
Not everything has to be remembered. Forget what is not required. You don't have to carry the burden of the entire world. You're not meant for it. Look at you, visualize your heart with only love, peace and patience. There's no space for anger and there is no space for hatred. Relax. You're healing your body and your mind. Do you have aches in the neck and shoulder? Is it still stiff and if you can move, make it light? Relax. And if you can't move, that means you are light. Breathe in and out. Normal breathing. There is no exertion on your neck and your shoulder. All those for the lightest issue. Visualize your spine from your neck down to your sacrum, that one spinal cord, the vertebrae, so many bones in between. Visualize them, the upper, upper vertebrae, the mid vertebrae at your waist and the lower ones, all those disconnected issues. Visualize it and tell your spine, I'm thankful to you that I can stand straight and walk. Thank you so much for protecting my nerves. Thank you so much for giving me this pain. All those pain and the bulge disc and the issues in your spine healing.